Hello everybody and welcome to Behringer on this Sunday afternoon. I have a layout update for you and you're currently looking at my class 60 in petroleum livery um, 60062 and the first thing I have to tell you um, as regards to our update today is if I just skip over the old bridge is that the rest of the ballasting has now been done so that's um, good news so that's now all done and dusted it's a long laborious job and it eats up far more ballast than I anticipated but it's all done um, it still looks a bit fresh but it's all good um, the other thing that's also been done um, which is another it's all the jobs that I've been doing is very time consuming this weekend the ballasting is one the other point that I've been doing is I've repainted the retaining wall because it was looking a bit mucky so I decided to um, repaint it so, so now it's looking a lot more fresher it's looking a lot more greener and then the biggest change for this weekend that I've been doing is I've just built a retaining wall for the station and repainted the platform um, so this is what I've been doing, so that's now been repainted, um, sorry, well, just been painted. It needs another coat, which is why there's nothing on it as such in terms of labelling, detailing. Also the capping on the top needs to be done. So that now marries up that with the rest of the station building all the way along down towards the end. Um, it wasn't quite as I anticipated what I was going to do, but it's worked out nicely nonetheless. I'm kind of hoping that you can probably get some views from the end here and the train go with and by in the background type of thing. So it's it's been, again, it's another time consuming retaining wall that I've done. I've, like I said, I've got to do the capping on the top, which is I haven't done yet. And uh, But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. You look down the platform and it looks it looks relatively good. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with everything. And then the last thing that I've been doing um, as far as um, and up, as, as far as works concerned, is although I'd repainted all of this, um, I wanted to link um, the bridge also that you can see to this side, which is um, basically along here as well. So as you can now see, oops, sorry, just dumping you on there. You can see that now that this this part of the wall has also been painted. So that's all been done as well. Um, I wasn't quite sure whether to, in all fairness, paint the bridge on the right in the same colour as the retaining wall, but I just felt it was going to be a bit too dark and the retaining wall along the back at the very end of the station was actually in this brick colour and also that the island building was also in this same colour, which I liked. So I thought just to keep a bit of unity and a bit of... Um, yeah, just to keep it looking the same, I thought I'd just provide that little bit of contrast. Um, I'm not quite sure what you think. Um, so all of these jobs, in turn, have been extremely time consuming. Um, like I said, ballasting isn't a particular job that I enjoy. But then again, I don't think there's many modellers who enjoy ballasting. But, and the painting of the wall is also took a lot of time and it's a laborious job but again it's worthwhile making the effort and also do, doing the retaining wall which is also worth the effort um, the, the retaining wall is made up of three layers of um, card and card is just like a A1 oh, I think it was A1 card and basically it's it's three thicknesses thick I don't know if you can see it and basically the top layer is the layer that's been cut that's been cut around and what I've done is I've I made a template because um, I bought the arches and incidentally in case any of you are wondering what the arches are they are bear with me a second they are these brick overlay arches from Wills and basically they've, there's a number of sizes and 
two of the sizes on display here which is that one and then that's the slightly smaller one and then you've got the bigger one if you want to use the big one that's usually used for tunnel port holes for the locos themselves and then you've got the really diddy ones which is what something else I've been doing is to put on the sides of this building here so I've done that on this side so that's another little job that I was doing. I haven't done it on the other side actually because I've run out of these little little doody things because it's actually on here there's actually two packs of those brick um, overlay arches and um, because it only comes with four of this set and obviously there's eight so I, I had to buy two um, so I've done that um, but like I said it needs another coat to make sure that it's kind of uniform and at the moment it seems a little bit I can see now it's drying that it's a little bit patchy in places so once it's completely gone off I'll give it another coat and that should even everything out and um, yeah and then after we can start doing some detailing work and doing some capping and things like that um, I was quite fortunate that I sort of repainted the platform and you can't really tell the difference there's a slight shade difference but not a huge amount between that and that because this side's just been painted that one hasn't but it's virtually identical so I'm really pleased um, it's just cleaned up the platform a lot so so it's all these jobs that have been done um, it's well worth it if I just show you you can see just how how that's done I'm going to be putting some bushes and along the end of here and some weeds and things like that uh, down this side um, so yeah I mean it's it's all done and I'm very happy about that so I'm going to love you and leave you um, I, I do I was intending to do some sort of running session but I'm off on holiday for a couple of weeks after at the end of this week so hopefully uh, I'm not going anywhere but I'm going to be trying to do some running sessions and, and bring that up and um, hopefully there'll be even more work done so thanks for watching and um, feel free to comment and subscribe I'll just leave you with this little view of my little 08 so bye for now